Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video on how to set up the TP-Link Wi-Fi extender, the 300 megabits per second version. Alright, let's go ahead and get started here. On the front of the box it says TP-Link, expand your Wi-Fi network. On the side here it shows a nice picture of the smart signal indicator. On the back, you can see typical locations where it's suggested to be put um, in your home. And then on this side, it says basically N300, 24-7 support. And then on the bottom, we've got uh, serial model number. And on the top, it says two-year warranty, by the way, as well as TP-Link. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by opening up the box here. And I've just grabbed my favorite pocket knife and let me go ahead and do this quickly. I'm going to speed up the video so that we don't waste too much time taking the plastic um, wrapping off of the box itself. And once um, that's done, we'll toss that paper or that plastic rather over to the side and uh, go ahead and open up the box. It slides up and then we have access to what's inside. And the packaging is very impressive. Um, we'll take the lid off here. And they wrapped up, believe it or not, the user's manual and some, um, you know, whatever information, the uh, quick installation guide, rather, in a nice little wrap there. I'm impressed. Useless, but I'm impressed. And then we got Get Stronger Wi-Fi where you want it. Um, and then on the back, it gives you some um, additional PR information. Okay. All right, the um, Wi-Fi extender itself is nicely packaged. There is a lot to be said about protecting um, electronic components when boxing things up, and I do like that. Okay, let's go ahead and take this uh, plastic wrap off of the Wi-Fi extender so that we can take a nice look here, close-up look rather, of the front. And as you can see, we have a single power button that shows LED lights for the RE, the wireless signal, the um, power, the Ethernet, as well as um, how many bars of uh, signal strength that you're getting on your Wi-Fi. And down below here we have a reset button and an Ethernet port. And then on the back side we have an AC outlet and model and serial number. Now there's nothing on the size, but let me go ahead and grab my small pocket knife here and you can see how thin this um, device is and it's not very tall either so it has a very small um, footprint and also it's very light okay let's go ahead and plug this into an AC wall outlet and when you first do you get the power light and then about 20 to 30 seconds later you'll get a wireless light um, that gets lit and at this point, we can go over to the computer and open up an internet browser. And we can go ahead and right click on our Wi-Fi icon. And once we do, you can see that I'm presently connected to P router. And I want to be connected to the TP-Link WA850RE. And I'll click on connect here. And this will take a couple of seconds. And once it does connect, I'll get it up top here on top of the list and it'll say um, no internet open. Now on my browser, if I click on empty space, it takes me right to the tplinkrepeater.net. If yours does not, go to that um, address or that link rather. And once you're there, it'll prompt you for a user ID and password. Now this is the default user ID and password for the tplink which is admin and admin, A-D-M-I-N. And once you type that in, you can go ahead and click on login. And that takes you to the next page where you are prompted to create a new user ID or username and password to get into this device. And I'm gonna go ahead and use admin as the um, username and I'll create a new and different um, password here. And it's smart to make it at least eight characters. 
and then confirm and click on confirm and then it goes and scans um, for all available Wi-Fi networks that are near me and then it gives me a list of which one I want to connect the extender up to and of course I want to go ahead and click on PP router because that's my Wi-Fi network and then I'm going to go ahead and click on next and enter a Wi-Fi password and keep in mind if you leave it blank it does not want to move forward so you have to type in the Wi-Fi uh, password for your network and then it turns around and gives you an opportunity to change the name of the extender from the default of in my case PP router underscore EXT and I'm changing it to Ocean 11 you can change it to any name you like or take the default name and uh, keep in mind that the extenders uh, 2.4 gigahertz password is the same as your host password or the password that you use to uh, make a connection on your Wi-Fi network and then click on next to move forward and you get this uh, diagram that shows you um, your primary router name and um, password and the range extenders uh, SSID name and password and then you can go ahead and click on save and then it will go ahead and save all those settings that we just made to the um, TP-Link WA850RE extender and once that is completed it'll come back and tell me that um, it's done and I can click on finish and right now I'm going to go ahead and click on the Wi-Fi icon and go up and I am presently connected to PP router um, I'm going to connect to the Ocean 11 which is the Wi-Fi extender and go ahead and type in the Wi-Fi password not a PIN number and make a connection here and hopefully I'll have internet access on my new TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi extender here and uh, we'll see how that works out and no I don't want it to be on the home network I'll make it a public um, just for extra security and uh, like I said it takes a couple of seconds for it to make a connection and once it does you can see that um, it says connected and secured or Ocean 11 okay and if I go up to the home button here on my browser as you can see I do have internet access Google came right up all right um, that's the end of this video except uh, let me show you how the um, the device on the wall looks all lights are lit subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like